Hello, I'm Thomas Reiner, the Lean Farmer. Welcome to another short little clip on farming outside the box. Today we're going to look at chicken coops and how chicken coops need to be lean. And this is a traditional chicken coop. When we bought this farm, this old chicken coop was here and we kind of grew faster than we expected and we had to start putting chickens in it, but it's not something we desire. It's, it's pretty old and it really needs to be redone. But we've had chickens in here, and I'll show you what the problem is once we get in here. So the chickens go to roost above, and they, they stay in here some. But as you can see behind me, they overproduce when it comes to their waste, which is a waste. And when they overproduce, then that means I have to move that waste, and that's transportation. And then in order to move it, I have to get a wheelbarrow and a shovel, bring it in here and start shoveling it up, and that's overprocessing and in excess motion. And then combined with that, when you have this much waste in here, a lot of times you get an egg or something that's bad, which creates a defect, which ultimately ends up that we've got customers waiting because we don't have as many eggs as we normally want. So, um, and then the last waste that's involved is uh, waste of employee potential, if you will. That's what you normally hear. But that would also be uh, myself and my wife because we're stuck in here cleaning this up but it's also a waste of the chickens potential and so in just a minute I'll show you what a lean chicken coop should look like welcome back now we have a lean chicken coop behind us and it is actually what some people refer to as a chicken tractor um, they have uh, smaller ones and they have some larger ones but this is the first one that I've ever seen that actually has wheels on the chicken tractor and by having wheels on the chicken tractor that lets us be able to move it around wherever we want and then we don't have an overproduction of the waste the waste goes straight into the ground which fertilizes the ground takes care of the ground and also takes care of the chickens because there's no parasite build up and of course we have cleaner eggs and then the water is already inside and the food is already inside so it's mobile and goes along with it and then they have a nest box that they jump up into at night and go to roost to keep them uh, off the ground and away from any predators and then it's really easy to get the eggs out of it and then by moving it around it lets us put it wherever we want to and we can continuously change and lift and shift on the farm without any problems and we're not stuck with built-in infrastructure that's hard to work around uh, from here until the thing falls down so this is a good example of a lean chicken uh, lean chicken coop however me and my wife have identified other areas that we could improve to make it better right now we have to open the door to reach in to get the water filled up we think we can come up with some ways to actually reduce that waste of motion and processing there and set up some uh, water where we can water from the outside and the same with the feed. So there's always ways to keep improving and this is just another example of how lean farming is important to save time and it's better for the animals and better for the ground too. Thanks again and 